Hi, it's Ramon Thomas and you're watching the Psychology of Technology channel. I had a discussion, discussion with uh, Bruce Mabuyiwe, the LinkedIn coach uh, on Twitter a few days ago and uh, it was prompted by uh, LinkedIn uh, being hacked and several million passwords or user accounts being compromised. I've been using LinkedIn for many, many years. Uh, it's been around since before Facebook, and uh, I wrote an ebook about it in 2007 called LinkedIn Lessons, which is available from our website. But the, what we were debating was really this issue of passwords and password management. And as someone who's used the internet since 1993, um, set up my first website in 1995, I have been using internet banking since 1997. And uh, I worked in information security or network security for APSA, First National Bank, and I also uh, did a very large implementation project for the National Bank of Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. So I have very first-hand knowledge of passwords and security and hacking and breaking in of passwords. Um, and what I was suggesting to Bruce was, um, you know, it's, it's not it's not easy. Let me not say it's impossible. It's not easy to have a different password for every social network. Uh, where is it going to stop? Uh, you have a password for LinkedIn. You might have a password for Twitter, a different password for Facebook. What about your email? What about um, a password to get onto your computer? What about a password for... Um, any of the other services that you might be registered on. What about a password for your website to update your blog? What about your PIN on your cell phone? What about your PIN for internet banking or mobile banking? What about, what about all these things? It becomes really complex. So many years ago, I took a strategic decision that I would update my passwords uh, once a year, uh, sometimes twice a year, depending on what's happened, whether I've, something's happened with my laptop or um, uh, maybe I've moved uh, to a certain country or whatever. And uh, all my passwords are the same, except for my internet banking password. That password I keep, uh, I make it as complex as possible. I use a combination of numbers and alpha and special characters like the at sign that you normally use an email address. Uh, I, I might use um, different variations on words and, and letters or letters and numbers to make it as secure as possible. And because of the added security of the SMS that you receive from your uh, internet, from your bank, um, it does add layers of, it does make you feel better about the password and security. Um, now, there are software that you can use um, to manage passwords, and I've seen them advertised, but I've never ever tried using one of them. Um, a while ago, I, I started noting down my passwords in a notebook, and then I just gave up on that because I, I really don't write anything down anymore that much. Um, I started using passwords on Notepad or remembering my ID number, various account numbers. And recently I started um, using an application called Evernote. And I really like Evernote for this reason. Evernote is an uh, application that runs on um, most platforms, including all the mobile platforms. So it's a software package you download, runs on Windows, runs on Mac. And then you have the same software on your um, smartphone, Android, iPhone. I'm not sure if it's available on BlackBerry. And you probably have the same software that could be available on your iPad. So I use it for note taking. I use it for um, uh, the book that I've been working on for, for a number of years. And uh, I'm using it more and more. And I've, I've realized that the value of Evernote is, is there's a couple of good benefits. Uh, number one, it gets backed up to Evernote servers. Um, so if my laptop had to crash, I could still access the same information from my smartphone. And uh, if all of my devices had to crash and I had <clears throat> no access to the internet, I could, uh, you know, from my own devices, I could go to an internet cafe, log into Evernote, and I could still access my, my data, my personal data, through their um, web interface. And so uh, I, I need to double check and see whether the information or the, the content or the data in Evernote is encrypted or secured in, in some way, which I would really assume that it is. 
because it would just make it a more appealing application. And um, I really would like to recommend Evernote very highly for you if you if you are someone who has multiple accounts and multiple account numbers, multiple logins and passwords. It's a very good way for you to synchronize um, your information and keep it in one place. And um, you know, I use the Firefox browser over Chrome and over Internet Explorer because it's an open source project by the Mozilla Foundation, which is independent. It's not a big, large listed company. And um, because I use my laptop uh, on a daily basis, I'm the only one using it. I allow Mozilla to store all my passwords. So unless I tell Mozilla to erase my entire browser history and cache, etc., etc., it remembers all the passwords except for the ones on secure websites like my online banking um, website login. So, uh, in terms of memorizing passwords, um, I really uh, do not recommend that you try and create a different password for every social network. Keep your life simple. Keep it as simple as possible. Have one password. Um, maybe you can add variations on it, like um, a certain number, one, two, three, four, five, or whatever. But just keep it simple as possible. Uh, I don't think anybody watching this video is important enough that uh, they will be targeted on an individual basis uh, by a hacker. So the same for me is I don't really believe um, that my data or information or what I have in my email or my social networks is important enough for a hacker to attack my account and try and get my information. Whatever information is already available um, out there is uh, sufficiently reflective of who I am as a person and individual. So just in conclusion, uh, if you'd like more videos like this, please uh, just check out my channel and look at what I've said in the past. And uh, please post any comments or questions that you have about passwords. It's really, really important that you try and simplify this uh, strategy of managing your passwords and your PIN numbers as much as possible. So um, perhaps I should write a more detailed article about this, but I really wanted to put something out there for people just to keep in mind that um, having a different password for every website and every social network is very impractical and you are bound to run into challenges and problems and forgetting things. So simplify your life, make all your passwords the same and keep your internet banking and any financial logins that you have to financial websites um, where there's investments or bank accounts, make that different and change that um, as often as you deem necessary. But uh, for the rest, your email and your social networks, I think it's safe to say that um, uh, unless somebody has a real vendetta against you, uh, there's not a, a great chance that somebody will target you on an individual basis. Everybody's suffering from paranoia if they spend too much time worrying about this. So my advice to you is to simplify, simplify, simplify. Thank you. Uh, this is Ramon Thomas and you're watching the Psychology of Technology channel and I look forward to your feedback.